Whether you're a student, a working professional, or a busy parent, I know that life can get hectic, and finding the time to prepare a wholesome dinner can be a real challenge. Well, fear not, because today I'm going to share with you free, quick, yet delicious and healthy 15-minute recipes for those busy weeknights when you just don't have the time or the energy to cook up a storm. First are these lightning fast, mouth watering, fiery noodles inspired by Ethan Shabowski. All that's needed are a few veggies and aromatics like garlic, ginger, bell pepper, and onion. For the protein, I use two pork sausages. I'm using stir fry egg noodles and to maximize time efficiency, place them in boiled water and let them sit in it right until we're ready to add them to the stir fry. And this time we can get started with the prep. For the wok sauce, add 15 grams of soy sauce, 30 grams of Chinese black vinegar. This adds a malty woody flavor, so if you don't have it, you can sub rice or apple cider vinegar. Then 20 grams of hoisin sauce, 10 grams of sriracha and 100 grams of water. Mix in 5 grams of cornstarch and that's our wok sauce. Now grate 4 cloves of garlic and about 1 cm of ginger. Cut half of red bell pepper in strips like this. Then we'll do the same with the onion, just lay it flat like this, oh, oh no, I mean like this, oh, I get the point. Now let's get to stir frying. So set your wok on medium high heat and add some peanut oil. Once hot, stir fry the onions until soft and then follow them with the crushed garlic and ginger. And when the onion gets a bit of color, add the pork sausage, fry it until it gets golden and crispy. I reserved half of the sausage meat to use as leftovers for the next recipe. Then we'll follow up with the peppers, stir fry them, give them a few good tosses and once they're softened up, add the strained noodles. Stir and fry them for one minute. Then make a well in the middle of the wok. That's where we'll add the sauce. Just make sure to remix the settled cornstarch before adding it. Then stir fry it for one minute, in which time the sauce will thicken and coat the noodles. And there you have it, a super tasty and quick noodle dinner for weeknight. You can customize this dish by adding different vegetables and proteins based on whatever you have left in your pantry at the time. Now for the second dish, let's whip up a delicious, crispy but healthy quesadilla. That's also great for using up leftovers. And since I like to incorporate some healthy greens, let's begin by sauteing a handful of baby spinach. Put aside next to the reserved sausage bits. I opted for whole wheat tortillas for this recipe, but plain tortillas will work just as well. To make them more pliable, heat them up in the pan, and once they're warm, add 25 grams of cheddar cheese, followed by a layer of spinach and then the cooked pork. Add another 25 grams of cheese on top, and then fold the tortilla and cook it on low heat for about 3 minutes. Now flip it over and let it cook on the side while we quickly whip up a dipping sauce. Add half a tablespoon of mayo, one tablespoon of ketchup, one teaspoon of hoisin sauce, one teaspoon of sriracha, and two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Flip the tortilla again, then start mixing the sauce, and remember you forgot the one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Mix, and that's our sauce. The quesadilla should be done by now, so take it out, cut it in quarters. It works really well with the sauce, and sure, adding more cheese is always an option, but I wanted to keep this one on the healthier side. Speaking of healthy, let's look at our last weeknight meal, which is a quick pasta salad that you can prep by the time it takes for the pasta to boil. So prep 220 grams of dry pasta, I like to use fusilli for its ability to hold on to dressing. Then while we wait for the water to boil, let's prep the veggies. That's half a bell pepper, cube half a red onion, diced, half an avocado, diced, 100 grams of cherry tomatoes cut in half, which can be done a lot quicker with this trick. Then a bunch of parsley, finely diced. By now the water should be boiling, so add the pasta, and we'll slightly overcook the pasta to ensure it stays soft even after going cold, because this salad is also great to enjoy as leftovers the next day. For the dressing, add 20 grams of mayo, 100 grams of Greek yogurt, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, 
half a teaspoon of dry basil, one teaspoon of salt, a squeeze from a cheek of lime, and finally a couple of pinches of MSG. Mix, taste, and adjust. Mine needs a bit more acidity. Once the pasta is finished cooking, drain it and spread it out on a sheet pan to cool off quicker. Normally I recommend to let it cool off for 10 to 15 minutes, but the hunger is strong so feel free to add it only after a few minutes. Then follow it with the dressing, mix, taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. This salad also works well with grilled chicken or the sausage we cooked earlier, so feel free to experiment and add your favorite protein to it. Now I hope you try these recipes and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye.